stitching my video today as promised. It's a little later in the week than I wanted to do it, but um, just been busy. I haven't got much stitching done already this week. I've done bits, but I've got my snuddy on because it's absolutely freezing here this morning. Me, Ali and Riley got soaked. So, you know, all coats are on radiators and... Yeah, anyway, I'm working on this one. Um, this is the one I'm doing for... I think her name's Lorraine on Facebook. The one I got from a Dr. Whip. Lighting is absolutely naff in here, so we'll just have to kind of work with it. But yeah, I'm trying to get some... Um, Good progress on this one because she needs it back. I've had it a little while. I wish I had a light. Oh, my ring light's over there, but that that creates too much patches of light and dark. So I'll just struggle on. Anyway, I did just remember to put my glasses on right as I was about to hit record. I think I wore them all day yesterday. It's the first time, I think since I've had them. It's been about, what, a week and a half now? Yeah, getting used to them. It's a bit weird when I take them off. Well, it was the first time I had them on all day. When I took them off ready for bed, it was really weird. But it helps me see. So how are you all? I hope you're all well and getting a lot more stitching in than I am. <laughs> Do you know, these glasses, the, the one thing I struggle with is remembering that if I want to look down at the floor, I have to properly tip my head and not look down because it, <laughs> it goes through because they're very, fo no, bifocals. If I look through the bottom half of my glasses, it's for close-up, so the floor's all blurry. It's just <laughs> taking a bit of time remembering that i got to actually put my head right down. What else have we been up to, apart from getting wet? Oh, my brolly turned inside out on me this morning. I didn't think it was quite that windy, but you know when... You're kind of sheltered by all the houses and stuff that are around you. And then you step out kind of from between all the houses and you're on the street. And then the wind just suddenly tears through. And it uh, managed to turn my brolly inside out and rip half the cover off. I don't think it's broke. I think all the little pegs have just come off the end of the metal rods. So I've got to go and fix that in a bit. I'm waiting for it to dry. It's nothing worse than wet hands. My hands go so, so cold so quick. My other half says, wear gloves when you're out. Yeah, but I can't deliver the papers when I do that. Where's my pen? See, I thought I was already organized and set up and I've put my pen away somewhere. Give me two seconds. Oh no, look, everything's just falling on me. <laughs> everything's falling on me. Where have I put the pen? Did I put it back in the bag? I'm not sure. No, I didn't. Oh, for goodness sake, what have I done with the pen? I need to mark it off. Unless one of the kids has had it. Hold on. My kids are good at that. You know, they borrow things off me and don't tell me. And don't put it back either. And then I'm left wondering. And then when I go and ask them, I'll use this one for now. I'll have to. I'll find it after. And then when I go to use something and I realise it's not there, then I go to the kids. And I, if it's Ellie, I always know it's Ellie because she'll be wetting herself, laughing her head off. She did last night. But unless I ask them, I don't know because they never say. 
Yeah, I went in the bathroom last night, brushed my teeth before bed, and went to use the hand towel. There wasn't one. And I'm like, who's took the hand towel? And I goes into Ellie's room, and she's lying on her bed, wetting herself. And I'm like, did you take the hand towel? She said, yeah. I forget why she took it, but, well, you know, when you take it off, replace it. So frustrating. And as for Tyler, he's 18, but I tell you what, he's untidy. I try not to go in his room anymore. Because usually he's got bags of crisps that are open and he's tied a knot in. Then he's got rubbish on the floor. He'll have a bottle of pop that's half finished. And I don't mean just a little bottle of pop, I mean a big two litre. It's half finished and it's just sitting in his room. And I just think, it should be in the fridge, you know. See, so yeah, I try not to go in Tyler's room because then when he's finished all these um, snacks, he doesn't put them in the bin. He just leaves them on the floor. And then usually Ali will go in there because we'll say, I'll oh, shut all the uh, upstairs windows. So we always leave them open for an hour in the morning. She'll go and shut the windows and then she'll come downstairs with a tray full of rubbish, bottles, cups. So untidy, that kid. It's not even a kid. You know, he's 18, he's grown up now. Still needs training. It's funny, but I never brought them up to be lazy. I always taught them, you know, when you finish with something, you put it away. And they did. And it's like as they've got older, they just think, why should I bother? Why should I bother? I think the same most days too. Because then usually I'll end up with a pile of washing from either Ellie or Tyler. Ellie, she'll get undressed for bed and she'll just dump her clothes on the bedroom floor. And that's where they'll stay until she decides that she needs to throw them down for washing, which will be days later. Let me just reattach this. I have started to get through some of those threads on the front here that are still attached. But I have noticed a mistake and I've got a... Not my mistake. But it's easily done. Instead of doing half a tenth stitch, I mean... She's done full stitches. Um, well, not her, but whoever had it. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness what is going on this morning where are my scissors there they are okay at least i found one half yeah so um what have i just done with that there it is come here i need to be down on that second half Let's just start this off Yeah, so I'll show you. All this here is tent stitch, all these tan um, colours. She started the path up here, but they're full stitches. You can actually see there's a line because they're different. So all that is meant to be in tent stitch. Now, if I don't undo it, you're going to see it. So later on, I'm going to be unpicking that. Oh, the joys, eh? Oh, behave yourself. My needles are flopping all over the place. Right. Where are we now? Helps if I move my threads. That pen's annoying me because I know it was here last night because I was using it. Right. I'm gone. What? Why have I got two? Oh, because I started those and I didn't mark them off. Okay. Right, that's that one. You might hear Riley from time to time. He is upstairs, but he's on his VR headset. And he can get pretty loud when he gets excited. So, just a pre-warning. 
Okay, I think I've done them two in the wrong colour. Yep. But I've only done half the stitch, so we should be okay. Just to go over them. I'm not sure what I was thinking last night when I did them. Yeah, weather here in the UK the last few days has been... Yeah, up and down. Today there's an absolute biting wind. Um, we say that when it like... It seems to nip at your fingers, you know, the tips of your fingers are like ice and it just it hurts yeah that's what it's like today and then you've got the rain and in with the rain this morning there was a bit of snow yeah it was crazy Ellie's still going for a physio hence I'm still helping her with her papers and it's been what um, a year next month um, she's mostly just been using the gym at the hospital because she's got free reign of the gym while she's under physio so every Tuesday we go to the gym and she does the exercises that the physio set out for her and then next week he said before Christmas give it six weeks he said and try and catch me and we'll make an appointment I wasn't able to catch him so I caught one of the other physios and I said where is he is he is it his days off on Tuesday? Because we never seem to catch him. She said, no, he's in the hydro pool. Is there anything you need? I said, yeah, he told me to catch him after six weeks so we could make an appointment with him. And she says, okay, just go to the front desk and make an appointment. So I've got that next week. And we'll see where we go from there. It is getting a lot better. A lot, lot better. She's doing all right. It still gives away occasionally, but not. She doesn't. She, don't get me wrong. She doesn't fall over or anything. When it gives way, she catches it, so to speak. So when it when it goes, she stops it before it goes any further. She is able to do that. And as the physio has been going, it hasn't been given way so far. She catches it earlier. So you know she's going in the right direction. I'll be glad when it's over. It's been a whole year's worth of physio. I think I'm going to need to go physio soon. My hips are killing. Oh my goodness, talking to VR headsets before. Oh my days. Riley bought a game on... Did he buy it? Yeah, he did. No. No, it's a free game, I think. Gorilla Tag, it's called. Um... You've probably never heard of it if you don't know anyone with a VR headset. But you're a gorilla. And it's it's just literally tag, but you're a gorilla. And the only way you can walk is on your hands. So you have these controllers in your hands while you have the headset on. And you kind of do a walking motion with your hands, which moves you forwards. Now, because you, you don't walk at the same time, like for real, you have to stand in one spot while your hands walk. And it's really weird to see yourself move but physically you know you're not anyway so Riley says come on into this room and we'll practice a few things first before we go and have a game because you need to learn how to climb trees or walls you know and how to jump from one to another and whatever so I was like okay so he took me into this room it's called the tree house room and obviously it's like a lot of trees as per the name and wooden walls and stuff and slopes that you can climb yeah there anyway he showed me how to climb this wall it was a narrow wall but um, long and you climb up the side of it so you put your hands together on the side of the wall and then you shimmy up it you just shake you kind of make the motion with your hands and you climb this brick this wooden wall no one goes above there I got to the top I didn't manage to grip because you're supposed to you, when you grip the top it moves your body whichever way you swing your arm 
Now, I wasn't prepared for that and I fell off. So I'm falling off this wall. I nearly lose my balance for real because my head's going, you're falling and my body's going, I'm not. And it's really, really weird. We spent, what, 10, 15 minutes in that room? And I heard Ellie come in the room and I was like, you're going to have to take the headset. And she asked why. I'm not kidding, guys, right? I have never, ever in my life suffered motion sickness. I did that day. Oh, my gosh. I think I spent the rest of that day feeling sick. Because it was just... I don't know. It was like it was a hard feeling to shake. I couldn't shut my eyes because every time I did, I was like back in gorilla tag. It was really weird. And I could just sense the motion. And, oh my gosh, Riley asked me again yesterday, Mum, can, can we have a game of gorilla tag? You owe me from the other day. I don't. I really, really don't. I'm like, you have got no chance. That I'm so glad I've never suffered travel um, motion sickness. Never even suffered travel sickness. You know? And that was just... I wouldn't like to experience that again. Ellie goes, well, I told you, Mum. She she had it when she first got the headset. She'd say, Mum, I feel really sick. And Riley would ask her to play, and she was like, no, I can't. Because it hurts my stomach. Anyway, she said to me after that, she says, after a few times playing it you get used to it it doesn't make you feel sick no more not a feeling I really want to uh, experience oh it was awful it was just you know when your stomach churns either you've seen something you don't like or you know I used to get that way when I used to watch um cyst videos when they were cutting out cysts from people and my stomach used to churn. And that's the feeling I'm on about. I don't get it when I watch this videos anymore. Got used to it. But it's that feeling. Your stomach's churning. You feel like you're going to be sick. Your head feels like it's swaying. All day I think I had that sickness feeling. It did get easier as the day went on. But I just couldn't shake all of it now they have beat saber now that i can do you're not moving you're not walking you're just hitting these blocks with the two sabers in your hands so that i can do i say that i can do ellie said come on try the expert oh my gosh you have these square blocks flying at you and on them is an arrow and you have to hit them with the sabre in the direction of the arrow. So if the arrow points up, you have to swipe from bottom to top, swipe upwards on this block and it counts it as a, you know, a win. You get all these blocks rushing at you and you have to hit them all in the right direction. Now each hand has a different coloured sabre so I think it's red and blue so you can have red blocks flying at you, blue blocks flying at you and you have to hit them with the right sabre in the right direction and Ellie put me on this song that was expert and oh my gosh I think I failed after about four blocks I just and Ellie was like swinging away swinging away and I just looked at her like how on earth do you do that? She says, well, to be honest, you get used to it. And generally, she said, when you've got an upstroke with the left hand, let's say the left hand is red, you've got an upstroke on a red block. She says, generally, the next one is going to be a down because they never do two that are the same way. And then on this expert game, you have these little blocks that face diagonal as well. And I'm just, it's up, down, diagonal, left, right. No way, and she did so well. I was so shocked. She's gotten really good at it. So is Riley, to be fair. And it's wicked when you play together because you can see each other on the screen. Their little avatar is swiping at these blocks. And so are you. Do you know what? You, you lose all sense 
of where you are because especially on gorilla tag you have to turn physically on the spot to change direction so if you're facing forwards and you need to go left you have to turn on your feet and face left and then sw use your hands and you'll run that way but then when you're trying to run you have to I think I've already done that one yeah I have you have to swing your hands quite fast and forcefully um, to move and then if you've accidentally moved from your spot you end up hitting the door or the cage I really hurt my fingers the other day because there's quite a big space between the cage and the sofa so that's where Ellie generally stands and she'll use my curtain not my curtain my um the cloth I usually put on the table when I'm doing an unboxing she uses that she'll fold it up as small as she can and stand on it so that her feet can feel when she's come off it but even then you know I used a cushion and I still stepped off it and whacked my fingers on the cage gee and Riley he did make me chuckle he says you whacked your fingers on the cage he said I keep hitting my my belly with my hands because he's swinging but he's swinging them close to his um, body and he hits himself in the belly all the time and Ellie says yeah you can hear it as well the connection <laughs> but yeah the kids have really enjoyed their VR headsets for Christmas you can play Uno on there as well the games are so darn expensive and it's not even for I've already marked them it's not even for a physical game it's just a digital one on the thing uh, on the headset and it's what did he pay 23 pound for Beat Saber they tried obviously you can trial um, the game but you only get like I don't know 15 minutes to try it or something but at least you've got 15 minutes to know whether it's any good or not, um, if it's worth paying, the um, what have I done? Oh no, yeah, I'm right. Then you'll know if it's worth paying the twenty three pound. And both of them tried the Beat Saber, and that was that. They were sold on it. Let me just see if that goes around the other side. But yeah, the games can be. Yes, it does. So I need another one. I don't think I could ever really play on one, like, for an hour or so. Not a chance. When they first had them, they were like, Mum, you've got to try this. And Ellie put me in a room. She says, what happens is it trains you on how to do certain things in the game. It's like a training room. And she put the headset on me. And the screen went black for a second and then... I was suddenly on this platform in this room and I've got things in front of me but if I look to the left there was a massive drop and even though in my head I knew I wasn't on a platform that high it was I'm not generally afraid of heights oh dear everything's fell out my pot um yeah but looking over I don't know I just felt really weird no I'm upside down woman there we go so I'm making some good progress on this. I did all this green. Helps if I get a bit of light on it, doesn't it? All this green last night. But it's uh, coming along really well. I haven't got loads. This is the bottom now. So I've completed this section of the bottom. So it's just filling in the car. Filling in this gap. Because that's the very edge there. Filling in all of this. Finishing the car. And then just filling in this left hand side and in there not too much it shouldn't take too long shouldn't she says right i'm not going to carry on with that one i want to carry on moving down where have i put there it is next color anyway let's talk about something other than vr headsets even thinking about it now i can feel my stomach talking to me 
and it's like let's, let's not even go there oh my coffee I remember to make a coffee before I came in here um, that's unusual let's go with the hourglass 267 okay so that's a bit of a darker green hang on hang on hang on I have one right there I think that is the same Let's just two six seven. Yes, it is. Boom! I haven't got a thread one. And if you happen to hear a tiny bit of snoring, by the way, I have Luna right behind my shoulders. So fast asleep on the back of the settee right behind me okay so we'll go in there so the next one is there can you hear Reese? Uh, Reese? I don't even know why I said that he doesn't even live here anymore can you hear Riley he begins with the same letter <laughs> uh, right diagonal I should have, a, should have had this finished by now, to be honest. I think I've got a knot. Where am I? No, oh, I don't. It just felt like one. Come on, ate the road. My brother... I hadn't heard from my brother and uh, my sister-in-law in a little while. Um, but I don't like to bug them because I know she suffers with epilepsy really bad you know it takes it out on both of them so you know I let them contact me when they're okay anyway it had been a little while and then I messaged and apparently they've had really bad flu he honestly thought it was COVID so he tested and tested and tested day after day it said negative so but he said he's never ever had flu that bad before but you know he's getting older he's the older one of the three of us so he's the eldest I'm the middle and then my sister's the baby but yeah he's old, a bit three years older than I am but he really really they both actually felt really bad for days he said it was at one point they couldn't even lift their heads off the pillow you know when your head hurts so much yeah he said it hurt just to get up and use the bathroom and then Elaine having seizures and stuff yeah it's kind of really been hard on both of them Oh yeah, he rang me, not yesterday, the day before, when he started to feel better. Forgive me stopping and starting all the time. I have to mark them off as I go. Otherwise, I end up marking off the wrong stitches. I've been as almost blind as a bat now. I have to keep lifting it up. Right, okay. Up from there, so I'm here. I've done bare minimum on my Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I just, I don't know what's going on with me. It's just some days I feel like it, some days I really, really don't. And when I really, really don't, that's the days when it can last for a good two, three days. I want to stitch, but it's like, I don't know. Getting set up is the bit I don't want to do. I don't know. Because once I'm set up and I'm stitching, I'm good. Like now. I really didn't want to stitch this morning, but I had a stitch for me to do. So I thought, you know, I really need to get this one done. So we'll kill two birds with one stone. Do a stitch with me and get some progress on this one. Because she's got so there. She's got some others she wants me to do as well. Because no one else opted to do them for her. So I said, I'll do them. Just let me finish this one. Uh, so yeah, the quicker I can get this finished and back to her. 
I enjoyed all that tent stitch. It goes so fast when you've only got to do half across. Okay, we've got to do a jump. Yeah, kind of. But it's not too much of a jump, so I'm not going to tie it in. Let's just see how long that's going to be. Do you know what? I'll hide it then. Give me a second, guys. Just bury in the thread a little so it doesn't show so much on the back. Out the way. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, there. Oh, hold on. Ah, right, okay. So, not that one, but that one. Nuts, I missed the hole by one thread. Of that one. Probably have to come back and do some that I've missed because that's quite common. Because this thing is quite confetti up here in the grass, the trees, and yeah, so done those two. I'll have to save them for when I'm stitched a bit more of the other it's going to be hard telling because I haven't um, gridded this so I'm not going to just jump and guess where I'm going because I always count wrong guaranteed also been looking into courses um, especially ones like early years practitioners like um, you work in nurseries and stuff when I first left school I did start a college course Um, and that was uh, working with young kids but for whatever reason I didn't finish it and I just went and got a full time job instead and I wish I had now I mean, I've got quite good experience. I've had four kids and they've all turned out okay. Um, my eldest and his girlfriend are due next month. I think they're going to find out today when she's opted for a C-section. So they're going to find out today the date that they're going to do it. I think it was today. But yeah, she's due next month. Oops.
Oh, do you know what? I said my coffee and I still never picked it up. It's still warm ish. Oh, yeah. It's not cold, cold. Not yet. I can't drink cold coffee. Do you know what? I used to have a friend. I don't know if it was true, but she said it. If you made her a drink, she could always tell you if it was fresh water in the kettle or if it had been boiled twice. Like she's made a drink from it earlier and you've just reboiled it again to make another. She can tell you the difference. I was like, how do you even know that? How can you tell that? Oh no. And then another friend, she likes coffee mate in her coffees. Now I'd never even heard of it. And she asked me when we first kind of got to know each other, do you want coffee mate in your coffee? And she, I was like, what on earth is that? She's like, it's just like a cream powder for your coffee. I was like, yeah, go on then, because you don't need milk. I'll give it a go. And the first one was a little weird. It's just that initial taste was just a weird, bit weird. But it was amazing how fast I got used to it. And it was, I had to have it in all my coffees. It was really creamy. And, and then I find out my brother's been having it for years. Yeah. If you can hear Riley, I do apologise. It sounds like he's getting quite, quite aggravated. There's so many streamers now that do Gorilla Tag. I only know because Riley keeps showing me them all. <laughs> so for an afternoon, I let them have the TV in the front room and I just uh, put my headphones in and leave them to it. And I put some music on. I always stitch better when I've got music playing. So it doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah several times he will call me mum and I'll look he'll go look at this and it's someone playing gorilla tag and they're streaming it so it's got a video on themselves and then a video uh, showing what he can see in his headset I'm like why don't excuse me why don't you just go and play it rather than watch everyone else play it I don't get it. Mind you, that's like saying, why do I watch Stitch with me? <laughs> but I stitch at the same time, so it's not like a total waste of time. I'm kind of watching, kind of listening. No, kind of watching, but listening as I'm stitching, so. Do you know what? Leave that off, because it does my head in. So... 38 minutes of stitching and it looks like I've barely got anywhere doesn't it <laughs> anyway are we carrying on with that one where did I put it oh my gosh does that mean I've ran out now what was I stitching Oh yeah, the um, yeah two six seven. No, I've still got some. I was gonna say. Oh darn. Oh yeah, I'm confusing the heck out of myself here. I attached all these to these um, floss holders and I've put them all on the wrong way so you can't just pull one off ha gotcha she says 
Oh no. Oh, it did this to me last night. I pulled it and it knotted it. It's done it again. Silly sausage. Let's try and get this undone. That was a deep sigh, Luna. Has that got it? Has it heck? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's pull that through. And there's this go. Oh, it's left a knot. Oh, no. It hasn't. Where's my end? Let me just have another sip of coffee before it goes any colder. Excuse me, making noises with my mouth. You know what? I could just go a nice biscuit now with my coffee. Does anybody else feel like that? What's your favourite biscuit? I'll ask you that. Mine. Um, choice of two. I really love um bourbon biscuits. Or jammy dodgers. I really like a jammy dodger. But, I don't know if anybody else does this, but with the jammy dodger, I have to eat the biscuit all the way around the jam first. And then I can eat the middle bit. I'm just as stupid with bourbons. I have to bite the biscuit off the top. And then eat the rest. My kids, they just absolutely love chocolate digestives. I don't like them. I don't know why. I'm just not a digestive person. They are not nice. But I'll eat a chocolate malted milk. Although it wouldn't be my first choice. Jammy Dodger or Bourbon. Mind you, I quite like custard creams. But they have to be dunked in a cup of tea. Not coffee, tea. Now four. Oh, do you know what else I do like? Pink wafers. They call them pink pampers, but I really like them. For... Do you know what? I haven't made any cookies for a long time. Chocolate chip, chocolate orange cookies. Hmm. I know what I'm going to have to do. Don't sneeze. Stop scratching. You've had flea treatment? Yeah, she's not talking to me at the minute. She never does when she has a flea treatment. You have to give her a day or so. Yeah, she absolutely hates them because she has to be held. Luna does not like to be held. But she is a rescue, so I'm not going to hold it against her. Don't sneeze, Luna. 
The vet says because she must have had cat flu at some point in her past. Sometimes cats can be left with symptoms permanently. And for her, it's snotty nose. She always sounds like she's uh, got a cold. Have I done the ones on my... Yes, I did. So that's why she sounds a little bad at the minute. The cold weather probably doesn't help there. Next to there. Still haven't got Luna to get back in a radiator bed. I have absolutely no idea what happened. But she, the minute you put her on it, she just, it's almost like panic. She'll jump straight off and run. Whereas Binks, well, he loves his. I think I might swap it for here, for Luna's, because Luna's is bigger. Binks is bigger than Luna, and Luna doesn't even bother with it anyway anymore, so I should swap them. I missed. It's there. Okay. Now diagonal down. I've got one more. Yeah, that's right. We're next. All three of those. nearly 50 minutes I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna finish this coffee before it freezes <laughs> it goes pretty quick when it's uh, cold it cools down pretty quick I mean um, yeah so I'm gonna go finish my coffee carry on stitching some more on this um, and I will see you not this weekend the weekend after for another flash tube hopefully I've got a bit more to share with you that time Okay, guys, take care, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.